Mermaids The Body Found was a documentary from 2011 that got so much attention that the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration had to put a statement out saying that no, mermaids don't exist. They were a little nicer, but you know, that's the point. Hey everybody, Nick from Just Nest Science here, and today we're going to be talking about mermaids. And why are we talking about an almost 10-year-old documentary? Well, a viewer or a, a listener or some, you know, whatever you want to call them, someone on Twitter asked us to cover this. That's really what I'm getting at. They asked us, hey, I read this, this thing that said mermaids might have been from a section of primates that evolved into the ocean and man that is there's so many problems with that so lauren and i we watched this documentary mermaids the body found and in just a couple of minutes we identified some real problems but before we get into those did you know that the documentary that we're talking about mermaids isn't actually a documentary it's what's called docu-fiction. The whole entire thing is fake. They, they made it up. It's None of it's real. The scientists that they use in that documentary, or, or what I'm just going to call movie from now on, the scientists in that movie are just actors. They claim to be from NOAA, again, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, but they're not. They're just a dude trying to make you know a few bucks on a, on a project, which I don't blame him for. So the plot of the movie is they start talking about how mermaids might have evolved from early human ancestors. And they talk about th this one, they show a, a scene where there's just a, a, a primate, an ancestor looking out into the ocean, just <sighs> like he's dying to be in the water. And next thing you know, it's a million years later. And now there's just a bunch of, monkeys swimming in the water because that's how evolution works it's not evolution is not goal driven it's not goal oriented you can't say i want to evolve into this and then it happens that's not what that's not how it goes evolution is just a series of mutations and changes that help a species become more adapted or more fit to an environment that they live in so as environments change, species need to change with it. Maybe they have to change how they digest food and absorb nutrients. Maybe they have to adapt to different viruses that are in the area. Maybe they have to adapt to climate changes. The biggest example of evolution that's happened kind of rapidly, and it wasn't really evolution, it was more natural selection, but for now it'll, it'll illustrate a point. There are two types of butterflies. There's a white butterfly and a gray butterfly. Pre-industrial revolution England, the white butterflies blended in great and the dark butterflies were able to be seen against a clear background easier and so birds can pick them off and eat them. Once the industrial revolution came though, a lot of smoke, a lot of smog, and now the gray butterflies, the ones that existed, the ones that were left, were able to hide better because of all the smoke that is now being generated and the white butterflies stuck out against the gray background and so they became the targets of birds and they became eaten more and so the population shifted from white to gray again it's an example of natural selection but imagine this happening because of genetic mutations that um lead to better fitness in an environment. That's that's kind of what we're getting at here. Anyway, I am digressing too much. I need Lauren here to kind of set me straight. One of the reasons that docu-fictions or mockumentaries and things like that are problematic is because they sometimes don't do a very good job letting the viewer know that this is fake. So for example, the, the Mermaids movie at the end end of the documentary at the very bottom left hand corner for like three seconds or so there's a statement saying that this is all fake more or less it's for entertainment or whatever they said but that's it so if you got 80 percent of the way through and you stopped a few minutes before the credits you would never see that statement and that's a problem because even in 2016 a few years later people still believe it they think that if 
and this was an article from Slate. I will have the link in the description. The author was talking to someone. They overheard someone talking. They said, if if Noah is lying to us about mermaids, well, they're definitely lying about climate change. And Noah handles a lot of climate change issues. They provide a lot of research and information about climate change. So the idea that they're hiding mermaids, but also at the same time promoting climate change, people just can't seem to, to believe what they say. And Warren and I talked about this on a separate podcast episode. Mistrust of the government is actually at an all-time high. And really, what I mean by that is fewer people believe what the government has to say now more than ever. So few, less and less people believe in the government, which means, inversely, more people are not trusting or distrusting. Anyway, again, you get the point. You don't need me to do this. So when companies or movies are made that that say there's some cover-up by the whatever government agency, it can really seed, uh, it can really plant a seed of doubt in viewers who maybe don't have the understanding or the knowledge of science, evolution, natural selection. If they're not familiar with it, they don't know what, how it really works, it could, it can sound real. And Lauren and I were watching this and there were moments that what they say sounds plausible. It sounds believable. But we know better and we still had to remind ourselves once in a while that this is actually fake. None of this is real. And that's the danger. The danger is you can spread misinformation so easily while making it more difficult for organizations or government agencies that are doing good work to really do their thing. You see this a lot right now with COVID-19. So many people don't believe the CDC, so many people don't believe the FDA, so many people don't believe the uh, World Health Organization. But what's going to happen? These organizations are going to get vaccines, they're going to approve them for, for use in, in general public populations, and people aren't going to take them because they don't trust that they are doing it for ethical reasons. They think that they're getting money from pharmaceutical companies. They think Bill Gates wants to plant tracking chips in you and control whatever you do so that you everybody gets rid of their iPhones and they all buy the next Microsoft Google phone. Like, I don't, I don't really know what Bill Gates would gain from tracking people. But anyway, that's a totally different subject. All I really wanted to say in the course of this video, which is taking way longer to get to that point than I expected, was that whenever you watch a movie, a, even a legitimate documentary, you have to know who is paying for it. What is their agenda? What are they trying to tell you? What's the message? Because, and I'm sure you know this, every documentary has an agenda. Some are good. Some agendas I can get behind. Wildlife conservation, uh, climate change efforts, uh, public health efforts. Those are things that, that are, in my opinion, good things. And I'm sure there's someone that'll turn around and say, no, they're bad for whatever reason or they, they're not, whatever, anyway. But they have an agenda and I'm aware of it. It just happens to be one I can get behind. Some other documentaries, they're a little more sketchy. And some are just outright fake, like this Mermaids one. So make sure you understand who's paying for the documentary, who, what their agenda is, what's their message, and is it even real? Is it even legitimate? Because you don't want to be one of those people that watches a documentary on mermaids, thinks it's super real, oh my god, I can't, this, there's evidence, and then you get to the end of the documentary, and the whole thing is fake. They tell you it's fake. Oh, that would be crushing. That would be terrible. Anyway, that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching and hanging in there with us. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and you know maybe share it if there's someone you think that would enjoy this. As I mentioned before, we also do a weekly science comedy podcast called Just Now Science. You can find it on any podcast platform, Apple, Spotify, Google, CastBox, Good Pods, whatever you use, we're there. We also do these 
weekly YouTube video. So if you like watching me get crazy as I talk about a topic that's fake or misleading, then keep watching. We also live stream on Twitch every Thursday and Saturday. At the moment, we are doing a special Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke playthrough. And on Saturdays, I do some cooking. So join us. It's always a good time. We love to have new people. We have a Discord. We have every social media imaginable. All the links are in the description. And you can go to our website where we have blog posts. You can watch all the YouTube videos there. Listen to podcast episodes. It is your one-stop shop for everything Just Nest Science. But anyway, like I said, that's going to do it for us this week. And I'll, we'll talk soon. Later, nerds. Yeah.